I'm out in the beer, beer garden, the Raggy's beer garden. So in the, in the background, the new uh, gazebo, all the rattan furniture. You know, outdoor living, it's the thing these days, isn't it? You know, it's, it's good to have that thing. And uh, I don't know if you can see in this bloody sun. It's gorgeous to have the sun. So there is my bar. And the odd time I do beer hall videos in the summer, and the odd review there when I can get one, away with one with the right of the wife giving me a bollocking. These things happen. Um, and um, yeah, built it back in 2010 now uh, for when we was uh, knew we was gonna have another baby, little boy. And uh, yeah, it's had some good use since then. So yeah, yeah. And uh, I love the outdoor space. I mean, at this time of the year, only about four o'clock in the afternoon do we get the sun on the back. It's north facing, so it's crap most of the year. So take you down the garden and take you into the beer room. So, this was a lockdown project, 2020, and uh, yeah, that, I built that wooden seat in myself, built the decking obviously, and it usually is because I re-did it all this, I'm a god, you get peed off, you know, like most people do. There's the, there's the other side of the garden. I don't know if that's any of that showing up. I can't see any of it personally. So, yeah, that's affecting the... Here is the famous hot tub room, isn't it? That I built from mostly uh, reclaimed wood and uh, obviously cladded it on the outside with proper shiplap. But, um, yeah, shiplap, not overlap. Overlap with cheap, nasty stuff. There's my green ass. Put my goodies in, and here's the beer room. So, it's an un unassuming shed from the outside. It doesn't look anything from the outside, and I'm happy about that. Sometimes you, you can, you don't want to show off things because then the little building bop, people come around. And there we go. We're in. We're in. So the DVD wall behind me, the famed DVD wall. That there is a gaming seat. It's not somebody hiding under a blanket. On this side, roller coaster connects that I built. There and there, and then the gaming area, and uh, lots and lots of games, consoles, um, as you can see. And there's the bar. Oh, my arm's killing me. Yeah, so there's the bar area, and obviously the beer wall behind. Lots and lots of beers. I'll show you the beers in a sec. So, oh god, can we swap arms? Oh, yeah, my arm's dropping off. So. Uh, a few weeks ago, I watched Dean and his beer reviews, and I seen his glass wall, and I thought, "Hey, I can do that." So I did. Built the old glass wall. One, two, three shelves of glass. I've got free space for three barrels there, and then I've got my fermentation stuff on the floor. So fermentation buckets below. Uh, what are them? Them bloody things there for parties and stuff. Not that we have parties. Not that we ever did. Um, over here, the wine and spirits rack, which has been shrunk down because. I'm off the spirits for the until I can stop drinking too much. There's my little spirit section as well. There's another area for beers there, and then below that, there's another area for beers. So there's a few beers, and uh, yeah. So here's where I, here's where I sit. There's where I put my phone just here. I have my phone with a glass or a bottle holding the phone, stopping it falling over, and then I sit down on on my chair, doing the beer reviews. I've got my trusty laptop so I can read comments. Although it's a crap laptop. I'm going to buy myself a Chromebook. I'll get the wife to. I keep, I'm, I'm dropping in. Birthday in June. So I'm dropping in to her. More beers. More beers. I've got another wine rack there. It's a little bit of a junk corner there. So don't look at that. It's not worth looking at. So the top wall. Beers. Lots of beers. Look at them little beauties. Oh. It's the amber nectar, isn't it? There's some beauties along there. Then we go to the, and then you look at the beer mats, you know, lots and lots and lots and lots of beer mats. And then we're on the second shelf going along. So yeah, lots of craft beers on this shelf. Basically all stuff in cans. Although if you can call Aldi's new bit craft beers, craft beers, well, mm, we might be on a loser there. So then the next shelf down, oh my arm. There's me, the old draggy sand that the wife bought me. Jolly good show, Raggy's Bears, Wines and Spirits Reviews with a big Ember on it. 
that own boo wasn't really supposed to be on it but um and there you go mob is spin the way along and there to the end and then on the bottom shelf what's this you say mob is and again move that bloody seat there we go so yeah spin it along There you go, more beers. And then if we, oh God, my head. If you spin it this way, here's all my um, homebrew. Prune juice wine and uh, wine and beer and whatever else I've got in there. So this is the beer room. Put the phone down there and we'll have a little chat, see. Yeah, so like I've said to many people that the first time I was interested in doing beer reviews was one day I sat there watching TV and I've always been a fan of beers for donkey's years now. Oh, the Maggie's Tap Room sign just there as well. Dave, thank you. Uh, yeah, been a fan of beers for donkey's years. Worked at Sainsbury's for five years. The BWS department, Beers, Wines and Spirits. Hence, Beers, Wines and Spirits reviews. Not just beer reviews. Although these days I'm doing a hell of a lot of beer reviews. Um, although I fancy a cider now. Hot day like this, sunny cider, jobs are good and, um, yeah, so yeah, beer reviews, um, watching TV, watching Central TV one night, and then it should pop up, there's a little bloke there, talking about beer, reviewing beer, and I'm thinking, I can do that, in some sort of wording, <laughs> people that know me know my sort of wording, and uh, ever since then, um, I've, had the, I've had the camcorder for, ten, for over oh, bloody hell, 13 years, the camcorder. So if I'd have been a bit more clever, I'd have done it 13 years ago. And I would have had beer reviews that you'd never seen. Because we had beers at Sainsbury's that you just didn't see anywhere else. And I've never seen them again. Sad. But hey -oh, in life, jump on the bandwagon while you feel up to it. Uh, I've already done the video on Instagram, but the Instagram video didn't have all my outdoor... Um, cushions and whatnot out which it makes the seating look brilliant then especially this weather um it's all about that outdoor living into you know it's all about enjoying life we're only here you know for a certain amount of time and uh, if you're gonna be stuck at home more and we none of us know what the the, the immediate future is going to be certainly no holidays abroad you can forget that one um so you know making space in your garden making a beer room these are all little projects especially if you've you know you've either got the money to do it or you've got the ability to do it i mean this is a 16 by 10 shed um i had it on that side of the garden first where the washing line was and it was in the wrong place so then i built concrete foundations underneath so i brought took it down brought it over put it on the concrete foundation there's airflow underneath airflow is critical stops it rotting off and uh, then, you know, uh, about four years or so ago now, after my mum passed away, um, I always wanted to turn it into some sort of outdoor man pub, cave, man cave, beer room. I always call it the beer room, or even the tap room nowadays. And um, yeah, brought it down here. And um, I put the insulation on. And then I, with a friend, who's sadly these days we don't talk but hey -oh, that's friends for you isn't it sadly uh and then plasterboard it all and put the electrics in and and the sun's even on about putting air con in so that'll be great especially in the winter months as it gets a bit baltic in here yes bloody gas fire uh, i've had my issues and yeah and that is the beer room and with this weather getting warmer we're going to be home brewing soon oh yeah I've got beer kits so I want to home brew. More beer than anything else. Um, just for the summer months, you know, get some nice beers. And you never know. I have a couple of people around. I'm not one for I'm not one for big parties to be fair, but um, yeah, have some have some drinkies and uh, enjoy a bit of life. You know, it's what it's all about, enjoying life, making the most of it. All you can. And uh, yeah. That's the tour. I hope it's been enjoyable. It's interesting, isn't it, to see what you can do uh, with a shed, basically.
you can turn it into a, a real outdoor room. I mean, on the settee there, I've got that gaming chair and hopefully my son's going to sort his, uh, son-in-law rather, is going to sort his shed out and uh, he'll get that rid so that I can have my uh, seating area there. And because uh, it's always handy when I want to go to, um, when I want to chill out on the settee before I go in the octop, especially on hotter days. Right, took enough of your time. Thank you everyone for watching, um, commenting, subscribing and liking. And uh, the views are coming. Oh yeah, see you soon.